Hello, this is Emily. In the last video, I've shown you the day one of our trip to Champagne. We walked in Hams, visited Shampan on Hishiho, and went to a nice white bar. If you haven't watched it yet, don't forget to check it out. Now, let's continue our trip starting with the visit to Champagne, Pettinger. We took a 40 minutes walk from city center in Hams to arrive. So this is the second day of our trip. We are going to do a visit and also the tasting. And um, let's see how is it. Tatinshir is one of the most popular claw mark house in Champagne. It's family owned with the Tatinshir headquarters in Hams for nearly a century. Very historic. They have extensive finger holdings including prestigious clone glue fingers in the Côte du Blanc and Mundan de Hams. A higher portion of Chardonnay gives Tatinger's champagne its signature to produce champagnes with elegance, finesse, freshness, and minerality. The visit begins with a time in the film we trace in the history of Champagne Tatinger. To me, it would be even nicer if this story are pleasant in an interactive way. Visiting the cellar is amazing. Is 80 meters below ground with 4 kilometers of galleries that keep 3 million bottles of champagne. Tatinger's unique Roman rock cellars awarded UNESCO's status in 2015. The use of chalk for the cellar is perfect for long aging for champagnes. Dark and still, they provide a cool, even temperature, and unchanging degree of humidity. These are all the Comte de Champagne Bon de Blanc, a rare and world renowned cuvee. Honestly, I wanted to visit Tatinger because I love this cuvee so much. The abbey was destroyed during the French Revolution, but its underground structures remained intact. They were extended by a network of tunnels linking cellars used for storing champagne wines. Here is also the story linked with the World War I. The champagne cellars become a refuge for the local communities. Some of the cellars, including those occupied today by the Mason Tattinger, served a special purpose, such as housing schoolrooms. These are Tattinger collection. Since 1983, Tattinger has collaborated some of its greater vintage cuvee with the work of contemporary artists. We have taste two cuvees of the champagnes here, Brut Hesef, and Comme de Champagne Blanc de Blanc 2011. The production is very rigorous with a long production process. Aged for more than 10 years to release, fragrance of the red peach and bouquet and licorice blend perfectly with notes of pastry. The use of the oak is very elegant. It's right there, but it isn't aggressive. The flavors come in layers. After the visit, we stopped by a park just nearby. There is a botanical garden with many different types of herbs growing. For the dinner, we went to Basahi Le Chardin, which is a restaurant I highly recommend to go to. The atmosphere is really nice and is full of plants and surrounded by a natural area. Of course, we drank champagne again. This clon has from the Ou is a nice discovery. It's an entry cafe, but it has really nice complexity. I really love it. The cuisine here is traditional French style. All are sophisticated and even the little details like the garnish, the texture, the cuisson are all perfectly done. Every bite is a pure delight. Time flies! Into our last daytime in Hams. I really enjoy this peaceful feeling and nice city design here. And I found one of the most beautiful parts I have ever gone to. Seriously, it's almost like a little paradise. 
Almost no people, the sunlight, the flowers, the trees, the water are combined into a beautiful picture. If you are in Hams, please visit here. Before taking the train back to Paris, we visit Palais du Tau. The plants are shaped in the egg shape. It's like many eggs standing here in front of the palace. It's so cute. It's the end of our trip. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and ring the notification bell for more stories to come. Thank you. See you next time.